Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do um, well, to do a repair on iPad Air backlight. So, this larger board uh, came in with a backlight problem. I can reproduce it here by attaching to a screen. As you can see, turning it on. Uh, you can see the little Apple logo, but the backlight is not turning on. And I know this is a, uh, not a screen issue because I'm testing it with a brand new screen. Okay, so to do this repair, first you want to disconnect the battery. The backlight circuit is regulated, um, in, specifically in iPad Air, is regulated by two backlight filters and two backlight dials and two back backlight coils. The backlight filters and this fuel capacitor here that's um, stabilizing the current from the filter. This is the LCD screen. So first thing first, first thing first, you want to disconnect the battery. Even though this is already disconnected, you really want to make sure it's off. And what I found the easiest way to do this is to get one of these Easy SS uh, PCB prying tool and just slide it down like any card, uh, credit card, or whatever. Just slide it down. Uh, it's gonna be a little, I already pre pried this earlier. Um, otherwise, it would have been some adhesive in the back of the larger board, make it harder to slide your credit card in. But Otherwise, it's relatively easy once you um, move the adhesive. Also, you want to remove some of the screw on the larger board so you don't damage the larger board in the process. Um, there's also another one here. Okay, so now this is good. It's not conductive to the battery. So the next thing I want to know is that I want to remove... Um, if you want to get, this is since I'm showing you how to do this, if you want to get access to the filter, which is easy, it's right there. But if you want to get access to the dials and coils, you have to remove this metal uh, EMT shield, which really, to be honest, I don't think it even does anything. Because um, you really can't get any static discharge coming onto the board. It's really only there for making the repair difficult or uh, protecting Apple's circuit board information from competitors. All right. So what I found is very easy to do is uh, using a pry tool. That way you don't mess up your nails when you do this. Trying to get open the. Uh, See, we well, want to be careful when you pry out this board uh, EMT shield is you don't want to overdo it and always be careful the surrounding area you can easily damage small filters and capacitor if you're not careful so I'm pry upward like such it's a little bit harder to do this one because I didn't remove the adhesive on uh, it completely, but for my purpose, I don't need to. Okay, so once you open it, oh, actually, I really do want to remove it. Let's see, I'm not sure I even want to do that. Alright, another way, quicker way to do this is probably take the entire logic board out, uh, which I don't have to do it anymore since I took it out this way. Alright, so. This is where the coil is at. It's one and two right here. One, two. And the backlight dials are here, right next to the coil. Uh, here it is. And it has a priority. So when when you buy the parts from our website, cyberdogalc.com, um, when you change the dials, you want to make sure the lines lines this way toward the battery. They're both pointing that way. Um, it's That's quite important because um, current can only go one direction in dials. It has a priority. So just remember that. And I'm going to measure 
the dials and make sure they're okay. The coil don't usually go bad, uh, sometimes they can. So, best thing to do is uh, test the dials, change the filters, and if nothing fix, you can either measure the coil or just replace the coil. Okay, so the dial check out okay. So, this is in this particular board. Um, only the filter that's bad and even without testing I can tell you the filter is bad because um, I can see it under the microscope that it actually looks pretty bad it's burned hence we want to replace that I can. All right. Look good. Okay. So now I want to test the filters. All right. Mm, it's kind of hard to use this. Move that a little bit. There we go. There it is. It's actually interesting. The, um, remember earlier we were testing that the both filters are bad. It looks like but under the microscope only one shows that it's damaged. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to replace both. Cause remember we were testing since iPad Air really should have two backlight track. Okay, so that should do it. Okay, moment of truth. Um, inspecting the board that you just worked on. And everything looks good, connector looks good. Zoom out. Alright. Let the cut down. And now I can. This well, turn off whatever you've been using. Well, cause a fire. You can plug in the connector very carefully. Don't damage the part you just work on. Oops. Okay, this FPC connector is also getting more and more fragile. So be careful then. Alright. So hold it. Now it has power from the battery. And on. And what you do? Right. 
There we go, voila. That glide's fixed. See? That glide. Oh. I think the connector needs to be holding it on. There we go. Okay, so the bag light is fixed. Um, I'm not sure what these are. It could just be the damaged, you know, like defective screen. But, or it could also be the. Um, yeah, I think it's a defective screen. It's not a back light because you see you have perfect back light in the back. Um, I'm gonna test the capacitors because um, it can cause weird things like this if the capacitor on for the backlight is no good. Oh no, it went away. I think that was just a screen thing. Okay, thank you for watching. This is how you fix the backlight on iPad Air. And visit us on cyberdoglc.com and you can get pretty much everything I just used in this video, like all the supplies and the filters, dials, coils, the flux, and the alloys. A quick look. Make sure this are. Just saw them a little more. And that was it. Yeah, the capacitor looks okay. So those are good. Yeah, it's a success. Filters are fine. So yeah, I think the lines that you saw earlier, it was definitely because of the screen. Um, it's a defective screen. Okay, thank you for watching. That was it. That's how you fix a iPad Air backlight. See you next time. This is us on cyber.galaxy.com. Thank you.